I'm Sheila McKiley, and you're listening to Bridging the Gap on BallersBridge.com. Today, I'm joined by Arizona commit Parker Jackson Cartwright. How's it going? Good. I'm good. Can't complain. How was your Thanksgiving break? I know you probably just got a few days off of school, getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, around this time is when the season is starting. So, you know, you just want to kind of get back in full swing of, you know, playing four games a week and stuff like that. So, you know, it's good to get a little bit of time off, but, you know, we're right back to work. Right. So season is starting. The past couple of years, you had some ankle problems. You weren't playing 100%, you know, healthy. And then finally this summer, you really showed your strength when you are healthy. So how does it feel like to start this season knowing you're back to 100%? Well, it's, you know, it feels good. To be out there knowing that you're playing at your, you know, at your best, and you know you have to be healthy 100 percent to play at your best. So you know it's been a long time since I've been 100 um, percent. Like you said, I've had ankle injuries, so you know it just feels good to be out on the floor, you know, doing something I love, you know, and that's playing ball. So you know, I don't take any games for granted. You know, I just go out and play hard, and you know, try to win every game. This is your last year of high school basketball. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, it's surreal. You know, you know, you, you know, you come in as a freshman, and you know, you just act like you know, it's never going to end. And that's how it's been. But it's been an incredible journey. Um, playing four years of varsity, and and now being here, my last run, and you know, I just feel the same way as I felt when I was a freshman coming in and winning the state championship. You know, to now, so you know it's um there'll be some sad moments definitely along the along the road, but it's a it's a real feeling, and I'm definitely excited. Well, you definitely are moving on to more exciting things after you graduate. But before you leave, is there anything that you really want to accomplish or leave behind? Are there any goals you've set for yourself? Um, I mean, just more of team goals. I would say, you know, I just you know, I want to win championships. Um, as many as I can, tournaments, league, CIS state. I mean, that's, um, you know, a, a team goal, and that's very important for me. Um, it's an incredible feeling. You know, we won CIS my first year, and, you know, it's just fun to, for the whole team to enjoy that moment and, you know, to, to go through it the whole season and, you know, persevere through just tough time. So, yeah, I just want to win, and, you know, that's all that's really been important to me. You're heading to Arizona for college. You made it official with them um, pretty recently, but you verbally committed back in February, and you, you stayed really loyal up until you signed. What is it about Arizona that attracted you so much and um, that you love about them? I would say, you know, the coaches are very loyal, you know, to me, and um, they're very loyal to all the recruits. I would say, um, starting with Sean Miller, you know, he's straightforward. Um, you know, he's not going to be around the bush and tell you, you know, things you, you know, you don't want to hear. You know, he's just going to tell you straight up, you know, where you fit and, you know, how he sees you in his program. Um, their whole staff is passionate. You can see it from their current players and their past players. And, you know, just visiting there multiple times before committing and after, you know, it just feels like home. It's close to home, and, you know, my parents can ultimately, like they say, they'll be out every game, which is very important. So that, you know, I played in to go in there. A few months ago, I talked to Mike Nicole, who is the director of the documentary At All Costs, and I know that you are a main focus in that movie, and he kind of tried his best to document your journey throughout high school and getting signed and followed you around for a lot. Um, the movie, just the trailer looks exciting. Can you talk to me a little bit about that whole experience about being filmed and uh, about being a part of the movie? Right. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a blessing to be a part of that. Um, you know, I've just heard a lot of buzz around, you know, the city of people, you know, just really excited and wanting to drop so they can see it. But, you know, they started filming me about two years ago and they like, just followed me around and, you know, it's been a great experience for me because I've never, you know, really been behind a camera like that. And, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just anxious to see how it turns out. You know, we've been filming for a while, so I'm just anxious to 
see how all the edits and stuff comes out full swing. What do you think about the underlying message of the doc- documentary? I know he's kind of trying to bring to light, you know, what goes on, quote unquote, behind the scenes of AAU basketball, of grassroots basketball. Do you think it's going to have a huge impact? Do you personally have a take on on the message? Um, you know, I mean, I don't particularly have a, you know, a say or, you know, a message, you know, behind all this, just being filmed, but, you know, I kind of have a gist of what, you know, Mike, the director is, you know, trying to portray in, in this movie and, you know, just what goes along behind the scenes of AAU basketball and what comes with that. Um, you know, he's been very passionate about making this movie and getting, you know, deep and getting the dirt under what goes along. So, you know, I don't really have a message. You know, I'm actually going to be, you know, a spectator watching this movie, trying to figure out more. Because, you know, you know there's more of this movie than just me or some of the other characters that were, you know, documented. So I'm anxious to see how and what he, you know, come to find. Yeah, me too. I'm dying to see it. So really, it must have been a really, really cool experience. Um, Parker, so I know people ask you basketball questions left and right all day. So I want to switch gears a little bit and try to get no- get to know more about you off of the court. Just going to ask you a couple of fun questions. <laughs> okay, so let's start. What's your favorite TV show? Uh... Martin, yeah. good one. Martin. Always a classic. Yeah, so <laughs> All right, Instagram or Vine? Instagram. I say Instagram. I'm not really a Vine. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it's cool to watch other people's videos, but I mean, Instagram is enough for me. Yeah, it's kind of tough to come up with the, all the Vine videos people are doing. All right, so Vine. when it comes to dance moves. The Terrio, the Ooh Kill Him dance, or the Nene? <laughs> <laughs> the what? The Nene. It's a new one. Have you heard of it? No. All right. Well, then I guess automatically your answer has to be Terrio. Yeah, even though I hate that dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's the best song to drive to? Okay, you know, okay. Yeah, you know, have a nice little. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kobe or LeBron? Um, Kobe. Good you know. answer. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and, and who's a basketball player that you personally look up to? It could be someone in college or, you know, your own age or in the NBA. Who, who are some guys that you try to model your game after a little bit? Well, from, you know, I just try to look up to um, Steve Nash. Uh, he's my favorite player since I've been really little. And today, to his day, I think he's still the best player on the league. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't play like him, but I try to, you know, model my game after him and, you know, just try to pick up on some things that he does. Um, the way he sees the floor is incredible. Um, being a point guard, you know, you have to see the floor really well. So, you know, I just like he carries himself on and off the court and, 